Devin Haney against Javante. Oh, that he's would a be problem. A, he's going to be a problem. For bro. everybody. He's going to be a problem, that bro. speed is bananas. Yeah. You ever seen him shadow box, like throw combinations? Oh, yeah, there? Like, Oh, yeah. Is this sped oh, yeah. up? Oh, How yeah. are you so fast? Yeah. It, 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 it's not fair. He might have one of the fastest left hooks. Joe Rogan has reacted to Gervonta Davis knocking out Frank Martin, warning Tank that Ryan Garcia will beat him in their potential rematch. Tank is the face of boxing, but not so much to others. In any case, it's undeniable that Tank is significant. The WBA's 135-pound champion secured an eighth-round knockout of previously undefeated contender Frank Martin for Davis. It was his 31st win in a row, and this was his sixth defense of a lightweight title that dates back to 2019. Now, some reports suggest that the Tank may fight Isaac Cruz next. The first fight went well, so why not have another one? If this outcome leads to another fight between Davis and Isaac Pitbull Cruz, it would be a highly anticipated event. Cruz made history as the first man to go the full 12 rounds with Tank Davis when he stepped in as a late replacement for Rolando Romero in December 2021. It would be an exciting prospect if this led to another clash between Davis and Isaac Cruz. Pitbull's manager, Shan Gibbons, told the boxing scene that December is perfect. We're not chasing tanks now that we have the belt, but everywhere we go, everyone wants to know that when we're fighting, Devin Davis will fight, Pitbull will fight, and we'll be ready. Davis and Shucker Stevenson reign supreme in the lightweight division, each holding prestigious titles. Davis with the WBA belt and Stevenson with the WBC. Their dominance is reflected not just in their championships, but also in their consistently high rankings on prominent pound-for-pound -pound lists, such as the June rankings by BR, where they often appear side by side. Maybe a great battle, because they are both in their 20s and undefeated. However, since boxing is well known, there's no such thing as a guarantee. Davis is part of the premier boxing champions network, managed by Al Heyman, while Stevenson fights under Bob Arum's top-ranking banner. This makes the chances of their match happening in the near future as improbable as a snowstorm hitting South Beach. Despite this, the media continues to claim her for a showdown. Both fighters also hint that the other is a prime target on their respected hit lists. Leonard Ellerby, who serves as an advisor to Davis, told the boxing scene, Trust me, Shukur is going to get that work. He's asking for it, and he's going to get it. It ain't what he thinks it is. I can't wait for it to happen. Meanwhile, given that Davis has defeated Martin, who is also associated with PBC, the most probable scenario now is that Davis will remain within the PBC network. His next opponent, Floyd Mayweather, initially took the form of a father-son or mentor mentee. Dynamic over time, Davis evolved into Mayweather's prized asset, marking a significant shift for Mayweather from being a fighter to a promoter upon his retirement from boxing in 2015. Their partnership dissolved in 2021 and quickly deteriorated into a barrage of insults and jabs escalating online during Martin Fight Week, as Davis cautioned potential clients about joining Mayweather's firm. Davis recently posted on Instagram that if you sign with this fraud, he will boost your career. He's not a good businessman at all. Mayweather's reaction was swift as he shared a poster for the Davis-Martin fight, hinting it might be off. Meanwhile, Davis hinted at a possible showdown with Mayweather listing him as the toughest opponent among others. In an interview with Mara, he mentioned possible dates in September or November for the bout tank. He said he feels I'm at this point where I'll pass him, and I'm doing it at a young age after a 14-month absence from competition due to legal issues. Gervonta Davis delivered a knockout victory over Frank Martin after defeating Ryan Garcia, who was also undefeated in April 2023. Tank dealt his opponent a severe blow, causing his first defeat. Manny Pacquiao is also hoping that the fighter continues to compete. Manny wants activity to keep his momentum going. Gibbons added that Pacquiao is also excited about a fight in December between Cruz and Davis, which would allow Cruz to exact revenge for their first round loss. Gibbons continued, saying he's ready to fight, and the fans are ready to see him again. The fans have spoken, on the other hand, Ryan Garcia made significant accusations against Caleb Plant, the former IBF super middleweight champion, following their altercation during the Jared Davis vs. Frank Martin fight. This incident marks another chapter in their history of contentious exchanges on social media.
their feud was sparked when Plant lambasted Garcia and his family for their skepticism of Vada following the failed test prior to the Dead and Haney bout in April. Recently, tensions flared between them on X, where Plant reiterated his position on the test failure while Garcia took aim at Plant's wife, Jordan Hardy Plant, following additional exchanges on social media. Both individuals affirmed their readiness to face each other in recent interviews, shortly after Davis secured a knockout. Victory against Martin Plant hurled a beer at Garcia as he walked, sparking a physical altercation. The two men were separated from one another, and the situation was quickly brought under control. Garcia used X as a platform to discuss the event and make a crude remark about the plant girl. He said Caleb Plant just hit me with a beer without me looking, and then he ran. I licked your girls and I showed you the proof. Garcia clarified in a second post that he was speaking of a different woman, suggesting that Plant was involved in an extramarital affair. He said, I mean your side girl Caleb, the one that Jordan doesn't know about, that's bad, she doesn't know. The rivalry between Garcia and Plant ignited during Sands' tenure as the IBF super middleweight champion Garcia publicly called out Plant for allegedly dodging about with Canelo Alvarez, sparking a heated exchange of words on social media. Although the feud had appeared to fade away, a recent interaction on social platforms has reignited tensions between them once again in the realm of adult male disputes. An unwritten rule often excludes women. Ryan Garcia, however, seems to have disregarded this code once more. This isn't his initial transgression, either, after previously commenting on George Casas Jr.'s wife during their feud. King Rai has now targeted Cala Plant's wife in a similar manner, marking a repeated breach of this norm. Recently, a journalist approached him to discuss Ryan Garcia's recent social media posts, particularly those concerning his wife, Jordan Plant. The footage and dialogue indicate that the Tennessean is present at the MGM Grand Arena for the double pay-per-view headline event featuring Javid Davis and David Benavidez during the latest installment of the JRE MMA show. Joe Rogan joined Max Holloway in praising Garcia's prowess expressing a desire to witness him face Davis. However, this wasn't Rogan's inaugural show of support for the boxer. Previously, he defended Garcia against critics following his sole defeat in the ring. Rogan and Holloway delved into Garcia's left hook, marveling at its incredible speed and agility. Their discussion also touched upon Davis, with Rogan praising Devin Haney for compelling Garcia to fight at 135 loops and imposing a strict weight clause limits his post wane rehydration to just 10 pounds. Rogan said, I would love to see Ryan Garcia, the one that we saw fully hydrated against Devin Haney against Javent, even though he was ideal under the prior weight of clause. Rogan thought that Garcia versus Davis would be a stronger fight if Garcia was well hydrated. The USC BMF weighed in, asserting that the tank would face challenges ahead. Rogan quickly interjected emphasizing that these challenges would affect everyone, not just one fighter. Garcia's unmatched speed and skill have maintained his unblemished winning streak. Nonetheless, fate often reminds us not to fall prey to our adversary's strategies. During a recent segment on the Joe Rogan experience, Bass Rutan and the 56-year-old host delved into Garcia's bout with Davis. The blow to the liver that floored Garcia was hailed as one of the most devastating punches witnessed. Rockin concurred, emphasizing that the liver shot is absolutely brutal. By the seventh round, Garcia succumbed, prompting public scrutiny and criticism to ensue in response to the fight fans dissing Garcia for losing to someone below his weight class. Rockin said, Oh my god, people were saying when Ryan Garcia went down against Tank Davis, and people were saying, he quit, like, have you ever been hit there before? The 25-year-old fighter refused to stay down and confronted Haney head-on, and rocked the boxing world by clinching victory over the WBC super lightweight champion.
The decision of whether Garcia will challenge Davis next and seek redemption remains a mystery that only time will unravel. However, one thing is undeniable, Rockin stands firmly behind Garcia, showing unwavering support. Come from. Yes! First Thai boxing class, getting dropped by a liver shot. And I was training with a class A fighter already, pro, and he figured me out really fast. And yeah. he dropped me with a liver shot, and I, I remember asking him, I go, what is this? It's terrible. I went home, I spent three and a half hours in front of a mirror. Three and a half hours. My wife said, you're insane, only this. I was oh. not going to drop my hands anymore. And the mm. next day I went back to the class and I just cleaned 85% of the gym out. And they go like, they thought I played a gym. We know that Gervonta Davis achieved a significant victory over Ryan Garcia, while Davis was praised for his performance in the bout. Some attribute his success to a specific condition in their agreement for their fight on April 22, 2023. Davis and Garcia agreed to a catch weight of 136 lbs. However, Davis's team introduced a rehydration clause stipulating that both fighters could only regain up to 10 lbs after the official weigh-ins. Davis has made headlines lately due to his dispute with Floyd Mayweather Jr., the ex-boxing icon, was recently detained in Dubai due to financial matters. In a recent social media update, the 29-year-old clarified that Mayweather Jr. was being held against his will for failing to meet his commitments despite their rivalry. Joe Rogan and Holloway acknowledged Mayweather Jr. for introducing the rehydration clause in the Davis vs. Garcia bout. Rogan shared his opinion on the clause, saying how smart Javent is for making him go to 135 and then giving him weight. Clause, you can't rehydrate more than 10 pounds. And for Dan, it was perfect, adding to Rogan's comments. Holloway said who is behind him? Who is behind him? Brother Money Mayweather? That guy is smart. Bro, that guy is a businessman. These guys are businessmen. You know, it was the same thing in a recent interview. Ryan called out Tank for a rematch, but he had some requirements. Garcia tweeted, Everyone wants to talk about the little stupid Tank. Let's fight enough of that funny talk. Come see me at 144 pounds, and let's stop the talk, although it would be intriguing to witness the two fighters face each other once more. Davis is currently occupied with intensifying his feud with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Additionally, Child Sonnen has joined in on the rivalry. Jervin Davis and Floyd Mayweather Jr. were once close companions, but their relationship drastically changed two years ago when Tank departed from Mayweather's promotion, citing mismanagement of his career. Since then, they have engaged in numerous public disputes, showing no signs of reconciliation. Recently, the WBA lightweight champion took to his social media account to announce Mayweather's detainment in Dubai. He tweeted, They got Floyd for real. Tell him I'll send him a wire. Ryan Garcia remains focused on Javed Davis. The emerging boxing star created a stir by appearing dramatically at Davis's bout against Frank Ghost Martin on Saturday night, reigniting speculation about a potential rematch. The MGM Grand Garden Arena was buzzing with excitement as Garcia took his seat at the ringside, wearing a shirt boldly stating rematch, a bit more than a year after their initial showdown, one of the top-grossing pay-per-view events of the year. Garcia's recent appearance has revived excitement among fans eagerly awaiting a rematch. His shirt conveyed a clear message. Garcia is eager for another chance against Davis, however, bringing about this rematch will pose challenges. Garcia is currently suspended for Pete's, a major hurdle he must address, while Davis's unpredictable nature complicates the organization of the fight even further. Despite these obstacles, there is an undeniable claimer within the boxing community for a rematch between Garcia and Davis in the 140-pound weight class. Speculation and excitement abound. Can Garcia resolve his suspension problem? Will Davis accept the proposed terms? These pivotal questions hang in the balance as negotiations progress.
Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.